ladies, I'm coming to you guys with a quick nail tutorial on the um, spiral nail. Um, I thought the camera was recording and I didn't capture when I did the um, the beginning of the nail. So what you're going to need is um, a very uh, thick straw. Um, and I don't mean thick, I mean uh, pretty um, big. The ones that I use are from Dunkin' Donuts because they're the... Um, they have the the biggest you know circumference so um you don't have a very slim spiral nail so what you want to do is you cut it as to the length that you pretty much want your nail done um and pretty much most of the time the customers like want their nails all the same size um for the most part so you cut it to the desired length and you want to use um the brush on nail glue and just apply a little bit to the top so that it kind of adheres to the bottom of the nail this way you can work with it better because it's not like a form where you put it underneath and of course you know it it, it sticks to the rest of the finger and I have the, the um, nail at the desired length um, for starting and I have it at an angle at a slant sort of like a, a lipstick nail um, I'm just uh, adjusting this here for you guys and what you want to do is um, start off with your, your I've already started off the slant. You're going to start building a slant like a lipstick nail. This way you can work it all the way to the side and start moving your acrylic like around the straw. So I had already began putting the glitter mix on. So I had already started working it to um, the side where I wanted it to slant. And usually I work... I work the slant to the left um, only because it's easier for me. It's the only way I've seen it. I haven't, you know, I, I guess you can do it to the right depend, <laughs> depending on um, your preference. But it's the way I do mine. And again, keep in mind that, you know, I am not a professional. Um, I do this on my own. Um, I've been teaching myself on my own, so this is my method of doing it. Um, this is the method that uh, I had my, um, the nail tech that used to work on my hands do it, and I watched her several times. I've had the spiral nail, I've worn it several times um, to say. Um, <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm molding it, and what you want to make sure is that you have, um, it adhered to the side of the nail as best as you possibly can to avoid it from um, breaking apart. Um, and you want to do it, um, you can do it as thick or as thin that you want, but you don't want to go too thin because you don't, like I said, you don't want it to break um, if you get it caught somewhere or whatnot. It, it can break off very easily. So these are kind of delicate. Um, I do have another type of spiral nail that I think is really, really cool design and I want to show you guys. Um, I am currently working on it, so just keep an eye out for it to come out within the next week or so. Um, this is such a little neat um, trick and I've seen it before. It's not my idea. I've seen it before, but I've been kind of putting it to practice and I, you know, excited to share it with you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure that maybe most of you girls have already seen um, the type of uh, spiral nail, but anywho, I'm going to work it out and <laughs> get the video up for you guys and hopefully you guys like it. Um, what I'm doing here is just working my acrylic all the way around and again you can use the uh, the clear acrylic and start working in some um, spangles inside and you know adhering it to the acrylic um, or you can do colored acrylic or you can do um, a mix um, whichever preference you want to use. In this case, I have several. I have two mixes and then my mint mix that I did there that I'm using there right now. Um, so here I've worked my way pretty much around halfway and now I'm using one of my glitter mixes that I've done and I'm going to blend it into um, the mint side that I did. So all the way at the end, wherever, you know, you can design this nail however you want I mean there are so many neat tricks that you can do with this so many nice designs that you can do with this you can do um, 
3D roses all around on the outside. You can adhere the rhinestones. You can bling it all the way around. Um, that'll be nice to see. <clears throat> um, there are so many things that you can do, and I... I just, it's a little bit time consuming for me right now because, like I said, I'm, I'm beginning. So, um, this one is just very simple. This, I didn't, um, put any spangles inside like I did the initial one that I showed you guys. So, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of how I did it. And then, you know, the sky's the limit for you guys. You guys can decorate it, um, however you want. There are many options, um, to and ways to to um decorate this nail and it's just a matter of um creativity and and what you would like to see on it and i think it makes for a very very fun nail to work with um so right here um i'm just coming to the end of it and what you want to do is just kind of shape it not too round not too square um and you always want to finish um, the nail to the bottom as, if possible because this way it's less of a chance for it um, getting caught. Um, and I like it this way. It's just not going to appear aesthetically as pleasing. Finishing off the nail, having that, that twist, that ending twist to the top instead of to the bottom. It just gives it a more dramatic effect when the end of the um, design is on the bottom, the the ending part of your nail. Um, and then you can come and just encapsulate like you normally do a regular nail. Um, no big trick to this. What, oh, what you want to do is um, have your, whenever you start uh, putting the acrylic around the uh, straw, you always want to grab um, dry pearls not too dry and not too wet but you don't want it to run because then it's going to be more difficult I should have said this to you guys at the beginning but I'm going to try and put in a caption to kind of remind you guys from the beginning um, just going to go ahead and finish off the, uh, na the end of the uh, nail bed here and oh my goodness if you guys um, try this nail even if it doesn't work out the first time or not I'm no expert this is the only second time I've really dug my hands into it attach it as a nail as a, a video response and let me see what you guys come up with and and how you guys did with this um, I'm curious to know and um, like I said it's such a fun nail to work with like this is one of my favorite favorite nails because there's so many things that um, I can come up with like right off the top of my head um, versus just a a straight plain nail I kind of drag a little bit huh what am I gonna do to it how am I gonna design it but this makes it fun I love this design um, this type of nail not the design the type of nail so what you want to do is when you grab your um, moist pearls um, you want to just uh, uh, lay it down I'm sorry I'm tongue-tied lay it down on the top of where you know the spiral goes um, and kind of blend it in and try and keep it as clean as possible only because after that if you have um, acrylic hanging on the sides of it it's gonna be um, a little bit difficult to file off um, because of the shape of the nail so I always try and keep it as clean as possible um, and again the tricky part is not to have it lumpy and you can have you know a lumpy side over here and straight over there try and keep it as smooth as possible even though you're gonna file the nail at the end and kinda smooth it off but it again it saves time not only that and you don't have to go through a lot of trouble then afterwards trying to clean up the edges so that's what I'm doing here just trying to keep it nice and neat for you guys and also when you're using these wooden hands be very very careful because it has that only a little um, like elastic band holding your um, the wrist of the hand to the the um, to the rest of the hand and it can easily break um, the first one that I broke 
my first hand. I broke doing this, so um, be careful when you twist when you twist when you twist your hand around so that you're able to do the back of your nail. Just make sure that you know you don't keep twisting it the hand around in the same direction. You move it to one side, then you move it. You know, turn it. You know, the opposite side. So this way, you don't tangle up that band that's holding your hand together because it's gonna snap. It's they're so delicate. They're made so delicately. And again, it's because they're not made for this purpose. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up. And um, you're not surprised when you're holding the um, wrist with the uh, fingers in your hand. And the rest of your hand is attached to the other part. <laughs> so because that's what happened to me the first time. My poor cuticle. I call her cuticle. Um, and so here is the uh, finished nail. And it's already um, buffed and shine and stuff, but I'm showing you guys how you would just file, set up the uh, the file normally as you normally would. So I'm going to use a um, just a gel top coat that I have. Um, it's a non-brand, but it's very, very good um, gel for the price that I pay. And, it, it you know, I'm very happy with it. And, um... I wouldn't trade it. So what you want to do is just apply it all the way around and make sure you get the inside as well um, to bring out the uh, whatever design or little spangles you have inside of this nail or whatnot. But you want to bring out the shine everywhere and just make sure you get every little corner and underneath is very important um, because this design is open all the way around. So, And there it is. This is the finished product, and this one is a little bit more separated than what I usually, like a little gap in the, in between. I usually do it a little bit tighter. Again, you can do it as loose or as, as a tight curl as you want, but this is um, what I came up with today, and I hope you guys like it and give it a try, and um, if you try one, attach it as a video, video response so I can see what you ladies came up with. I had lots of fun. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, ladies.